Huh. Well, this is new. What's good everybody? My name is Ren. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be taking a look at Open Seaface GD version 0.7.0, which just released a few weeks ago. I've been a little behind on videos, uh, so we're only now taking a look at it. And uh, let's just jump right into it. So as you can see over on the desktop, we now have our software open and we have a little logo now right here. It's got this got this duck face as a reference to the default model that uh, the developer Yuen uses when he's uh, testing it and when he's streaming, he streams this little low poly duck in this uh, one of the Discord community members made this logo for him and it looks really good. I've tried to design a logo for the uh, the eventual rewrite of the software that I uh, am proud to say I came up with the name for, which I don't know if I mentioned it or not. If I have mentioned it, then you already know what it is. But if I haven't, I want to I don't want to spoil the name of it just yet. But uh, my logo was not good. My logo was not good. The name was good. The logo was not good. Working on that still. But yes, this is this is the software. It's uh, it's quite, quite improved a bit. It may not look like it, but that's because it's uh, still got a couple rough patches, but it is nearly finished. So let's go ahead and get into the user interface. Now, I've mentioned in previous videos that the user interface has been rewritten quite a few times in order to try to improve it and try to fix some stuff. And uh, oh, it probably helped if I clicked it. Yeah, this is the user interface now. This is a much better interface. This is significantly improved. Oops, I'm scrolled over to the side. So yeah, the interface is significantly better. Now, one thing you've probably noticed by now is that the uh, blinking and the lips is uh, it's a little wonky. And that is because UN has added interpolation to the uh, mouth movement and the eye movement, but has, uh, has not added a sensitivity slider. So, uh, oops. So I think this can be fixed by changing the frame rate on the tracking. So now we have actually, um, so one thing I will point out before we go over to that is uh, we now have dedicated track and pose uh, little sliders or switches for all the different joints. My cat is currently running around the room like a crazed maniac. Okay. So we have all the different joints and stuff, all the hair joints, all the arm joints and the shoulders and all that stuff. And you no longer have to click one on, click apply, adjust it, turn it off, click apply. You just, you turn on the little pose thing, you adjust it, you turn the pose thing back off. Significantly better. It is a much better system. Now onto the tracking. The tracking is where you could see that we now have uh, interpolation. So we can interpolate the model and stuff. I have it on right now. I turn it off. Yeah, it's actually still doing it. This might this might be broken. But there's an interpolation rate. You can adjust the uh, FPS. So I'm going to actually double this. So we're going to double this to 24 and apply. Does that fix anything? Stop. Run. I forgot to actually restart the actual tracker and run. Oh, I have to reset the app. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Okay. You're not going to close, are you? There we go. Here we are. Okay. Let's load my model. Are we good now? Cool. Okay. Tracking. We're going to turn this up to 24. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to run. There we go. And it's a little bit better. It's not, it's not great. But I think once the actual settings for like a sensitivity, linking guys, eye blinking, et cetera, et cetera, will be fixed. Because as it is right now, it's not like to link my blinking. Now it is. Now it's working right. It's a little strange. Again, it's not perfect yet. It's still in early stages. But it's it's something. It's nice. It is definitely improving. It's been improving by leaps and bounds. I'm actually really excited to see where this goes. Uh, also, the presets now uh, work properly. You can have different ones. If you have a certain pose that you make in the model page, you can now save it as a preset 
and you can just load it. So like I have this previous one and load. There we are. And let's say I turn on this one. Oh no, wrong one. There we go. That's better. Yeah, now we have different ones. So if I want to load that one, there. But say I want to adjust it. So let's do, oh, I don't know. Where is my shoulder? Yeah, so left shoulder. Could do pose on. Gonna move my shoulder up. And move it back down a bit. So I'm gonna move it up, son. Turn it off. Turn on the upper arm, which is right underneath. And I'm gonna actually fold that arm down a bit more. There we are. Now turn that off. And now I'm gonna go to the right shoulder. So I'm gonna search for right, ooh, wait, right shoulder. There we are. Turn on pose, I'm gonna move that oop, up, turn it off, turn on the upper arm, move that down. There we are. And turn it off. And now app settings, or no presets. I'm gonna hit on this and I'm going to save. It's saved twice, I don't know why. So let's let's delete that. Um, let's delete that. Uh, let's delete that. And I close the app. I'm a genius. So it's not perfect. It's still a work in progress, but it does make things a little bit better. So we turn the tracking lock on. There we are. Not perfect, but definitely an improvement. It's still got some little wonky things, but there's significantly fewer. I want to reiterate that. This is a, essentially beta software is what this is. It's an open beta that anyone can use. And for being beta software, holy shit, is it good. This is a fantastic piece of software. I can't seriously go on GitHub. Give it a star. Uh, if you are happy to be a programmer, commit some code to it. Help it out a little bit because it's almost ready to go, honestly. And he's going to then just take this and just rewrite the whole thing for the new version that's coming up that uh, is being renamed with a better name. Okay, cat. You, you can calm down now. Now, the next part of the new features that I want to highlight is this right here. We have anti-aliasing now with a weird little caveat. Um, that being that if you have, so if you want to use a transparent background, as you can see, it's not working. If you have FXAA anti-aliasing turn on, you cannot use the transparent background. It's a limitation with the Godot engine. I think it uh, Unity has a similar limitation. MSAA anti-aliasing does work uh, with the transparent background. Cause if I turn that off, you can see it's a lot choppier now. But if I turn it on, you can see it smooths out quite a bit. Um, having both on is gonna give you the smoothest results, but you can't have a transparent background. So if you turn that off, you get a green screen that you can chroma key out. I think if you compile this yourself, you can change what color this is. I think eventually he may add a color selector of some kind. So you can have custom color backgrounds, uh, but that may be in the rewrite rather than in this version. Um, I'm getting a little annoyed at the, <laughs> the mouth does not want to work right. I'm exaggerating my mouth movements and it's still not quite tracking all the way. But um, I guess I should just exaggerate how much I open my mouth. Maybe if I talk like this, it'll show up better. Nope, nope. Not really, but it's good improvements. These are very good improvements. I can't, I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm being too harsh. I'm trying so hard not to be. I am really impressed by this. It is fantastic. I love testing this every time there's a new release. I love compiling the new versions, even though compiling source code is, of anything is a major pain in the ass. I'd still like doing it for this program because I love just seeing how much care and work goes into by one guy, one guy with some more stuff that's actually it's kind of expanded a little bit now there are people that are making like pull requests for like features and stuff so it's actually slowly gathering a community to help build it up more but uh up until just recently it was one guy doing all of this and that is insanity but yeah and we've got we we've got anti-aliasing we've got chroma king abilities we're able to now um more easily pose the model arguably it can pose better than VC face um, or easier than VC face. That may not actually be true. I'll have to double check VC face, but I think it's actually easier to pose your model in this 
with custom poses than it is in VC Face, which is super cool. We've got some more tracking options. We have interpolation, though we do need some adjustments so that we can make it a bit smoother. Um, like for example, I want my mouth and eye movement to be very sensitive to how I actually move them. Um, my mouth more so than my eyes, and I want to link the blinking to where I can't wink because I never wink on streams or anything. I have no reason for it. And having one eye randomly closed sometimes is very annoying. But I mean, after that, it's basically done. All it really needs after that point is just the new name. And then Union will probably want to rewrite the UI again. <laughs> I'm, ki I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He I mean, he might actually end up doing the UI again. Um, because the UI seems to be one of those things that the more you improve it, the more you realize you can improve it more. Props are working again, I think. I can't remember. They either, they're either working again or they broke again. I can't remember which one for this version. I can't remember if the update he's pushed to the GitHub, which has not been compiled yet into a release version, fixed it or broke it again. Because this version, it is either broken once again or he fixed it again. I can't remember which, but it's one of the two. And I know that's very helpful for many people. It's definitely not annoying them. But yeah, you can do props again. Props should work for the most part, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, we've gone through the tracking. I've shown you the presets. The presets are still a little bit buggy, but they are a lot better. So like, I wanna save a new preset. So we're gonna turn on, Let's see, shoulder, 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 whoop. I passed it. Shoulder. On. There we go. Turn that on. There we go. I'm going to look for the right shoulder. Here it is. I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to turn on that. There we go. Turn that off. We're going to go to presets. I'm going to name it as standing. Ren hair down. I I don't know. Sure, standing red, hair hair down. Sure. I'm gonna make that the default for this model. Um, we're gonna go through. I'm gonna delete that preset. Um, turn that on. I'm gonna delete that one. Uh, invalid. Delete. Oh, I closed the program. Oops. The presets I think are the hardest thing. Um, so we're going to turn that on and load. There we go. Start tracker. There we are. Alrighty. I definitely do think that the presets are going to be the hardest thing to get fully working right. But after they're done, they should be perfect. With the amount of time you spends working on this, I think once he finally figures out what keeps making the presets act weird, it will be like, oh, duh, and then it'll fix it, and it will never be a problem again for as long as this program exists. I think it, it seems like it's one of those things that just like, it's just going to take a little bit of tweaking bit by bit to finally figure it out. And then once he gets it, it's going to be done for good. Or it could be entirely wrong and it just breaks again next update. <laughs> I don't know. I don't do software development. That's I leave that I leave that to him because it, it, it's literally his job. His day job is to be a software person, and it is not my day job. My day job is retail. So uh, I instead just help find bugs and just be like, this thing broke. Am I annoying you yet? I'm sorry. I don't want to be annoying. But that's about everything that's new in this. I think the biggest thing is the aliasing for the mouth movement, and eye movements, and the... Um, or not the aliasing, the, I mean, yes, the anti-aliasing is the, one of the newest, biggest things and the interpolation for the eyes and mouth movement and just the general menu rewrite and how it's just a lot easier to use. Honestly, this is, um, if you don't already know, I don't think I've ever actually mentioned it, this in a video, you press tab to hide the UI. That's, just, that's something I probably should have mentioned at some point. Just it's tab to hide the UI. That's going to be, I think that's going to call it for this video. It's going to be about it. So we're going to jump back over and uh, yeah. But yeah, it's going to, that's going to do it for this video. I am hopefully going to be able to uh, use this full for uh, full 3D stuff sometime in the near future. Hopefully it gets improved upon. The mouth tracking is definitely something that's uh, not the best at the moment, but I think with the sensitivity slider, that will be fixed very quickly. I think that's that's a pretty easy fix of just 
being able to make the mouth movement more sensitive. And same with the eye blinking stuff. But that's going to be about it for this video. I'm sorry this was a little weird. It was a little quick. Uh, I am just trying to pump out a video this week. And uh, hopefully I will see you all next week with a little bit more thought put into the video. I'm going to be working on that like almost like the day after I make this one. So I will see you all next time. Thank you all for hanging out for watching. Peace out. Peace out.